Hey guys, welcome to Creative Training Solutions and this is Sunday Problem Solving Challenge. Every week we are discussing some challenging questions related to competitive exams. In that way, today we have a question which is related to inequalities. So here you have the question. How many pairs of integers A, B are possible such that A square minus B square equal to 144? Naturally, in all competitive exams, if you look this kind of inequalities question, we feel it little difficult and we try to skip it, right? But actually, it is very simple. So if you know the formulas like a square minus b square, a plus b the whole square, a minus b the whole cube. So you can easily solve this kind of question where you need certain sort of creativity, right? So if you want to work out this problem, you can pause this video and try to spend some time with this question. And if you want to see the answer, yes, let us continue with the problem now. A square minus B square equal to 144. Now the challenge is you want to find how many pairs of integers are there for this equation A square minus B square equal to 144. Now we want to identify what is the concept about, right? So A square minus B square equal to 144. Now you know A square minus B square is nothing but A plus B into A minus B even a sixth standard, I mean a sixth grade student will tell A plus B into A minus B is nothing but A square minus B square, right? Now, we have to use our brain. So when you multiply the two number, so A plus B, you get a number. A minus B, you get an another number. If you multiply both the numbers, you should get 144. Now, you have to find what are all the numbers, what are all the possibilities available. Now, answer is very simple. So the concept lies in factoring the numbers, prime factorization, right? For example, 1 into 144, you get 144. 2 into 72, you get 144. Similarly, how many factors are available for the number 144? So you want to take the technique of prime factoring. So actually, we discussed the prime factoring method in the LCM and HCF concept. So let me include that uh, YouTube link in description also. So if you want, you can have a look at it. So to find the total number of factors available for a given number, so you have to reduce the given number into factors. So you can write 144 as 2 into 72 or 4 into 36 or 12 into 12. So whatever the way you wish, you can uh, reduce the number like that. So let me write it as 12 into 12. So 12 into 12 can be again, uh, 12 can be further reduced into 4 into 3 and 4 can be written as 2 square. And again, you can write this uh, 12 in the same way. It is 2 square into 3. Now, how many twos are there in the number 144? You have four twos, two power four into how many threes we have? Two threes. Now, whatever the number you have in the power of the prime number, you have to write it down and you want to add one with the given number. So it is four plus one into, here you have two, right? So it is two plus one. So what is that? Five into three. What is five into three? You get 15. That means there are totally 15 possibilities for the number 144. So let me write the possibilities for your understanding, but you don't want to write like this. So 1 into 144, you get 144. <clears throat> 2 into 72, you get 144. And uh, 3 into what? 4, 3 is so 12, carry over 2, uh, 8 times. Yeah, 144. And 4 into 36, you get 144. And uh, 6 into 24, you get 144. Then what else? 8. 8 into 18, you get 144. Then 9. Yeah, 1 times 9, 9. Okay, 9 into 16, you get 144. Then 12 into 12, we get 144. Then what? 16 into 9. So now it reverse, right? So 16 into 9, you get 144. And 18 into 8, you get 144. Then what else? So you have 24, right? So uh, let me write everything, right? So 24 into 6, you get 144. Then 36 into 4, you get 144. Then 48 into 3, you get 144. Then two, uh, 72 into 2, you get 144. Then 144 into 1, you get 144. Yeah? Now, use your brain. You totally have uh, how many factors? 15 factors, 15 possibilities. Now, by looking this, if you choose the option 15, then definitely that is wrong because you want to find how many pairs of integers A comma B are possible, right? You don't want to look the total number of factors available. Now, use your brain. Now, A plus B is obviously greater than A minus B, right? So, if you take an inequalities, when you add a two numbers, that will be definitely greater than uh, difference between the number, right? 
So here, a plus b, if you take a plus b as 1 and a minus b as 144, you will be getting 144. But it is not possible because when you add two numbers, that is not that will be definitely greater than a minus b, right? So we can rule out some options. So you can uh, opt, opt out 1 into 144. That is not possible because a plus b should be greater than a minus b. So similarly, this is not possible. 3 into 48 is not possible. 4 into 36 not possible, 6 into 24 not possible, 8 into 18, 9 into 16, and 12 into 12. See, definitely both the numbers are not going to be equal, right? For example, if you take a two digit, 4 plus 3, you get 7, 4 minus 3, you get 1. How both the numbers are going to be equal? It is not equal, right? So now, by looking this option, right? So by looking these factors now, uh, 16 into 9, 18 into 8. So totally, how many possibilities we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. <laughs> By looking these possibilities, if you choose option S7, that is also wrong, right? So you may have option 7, that is also wrong because you want to find total pairs of integers, A comma B, right? Now, uh, let me take uh, this option, right? So 16, A plus B as 16 and A minus B as 9, right? So for your understanding, let me elaborate it. A plus B as 16 and A minus B as 9. So let's try to solve this equation. So plus B minus B cancel. So 2A equivalent to 25. Now A equal to 12.5. You are getting a decimal value. Do you think that is correct? It is definitely wrong, right? Because A equal to 12.5 and B will be getting a 3.5. So it's not going to be correct. So that is definitely wrong. Now let's take uh, 18 and 8, right? So for your understanding, I will take the second possibility. A plus B equal to 18. Then A minus B equal to 8. Now you try to solve this, you get 2a equivalent to 18 plus 8, you get 26. Then what is value of a? Value of a equal to 13. Then what is value of b? So value of b, you get 5. So now this works. So definitely you should get even numbers for a plus b as well as a minus b. So one even number and another odd number is not going to work out for this case. So we have to choose the possibility where you have both the numbers as even number. So we have to skip. 16 into 9 because 9 is an odd number and you can skip uh, what 48 into 3 that is an odd number skip it next you have 144 into 1 that is also an odd number now totally you have how many possibilities so 18 into 8 so you have one possibility here and second possibility third possibility and fourth possibility now you may wonder so totally i have four options but that is not available in the you know, given option. So I will go with uh, option D none. That is wrong. Because they are asking how many pairs of integers. Integers could be positive or negative, right? It could be both positive or negative. Now, <clears throat> you want to find A square minus B square. And that should be equivalent to 144. Now, A equal to 13 and B equal to 5. So let me explain with this value, right? So with this uh, possibility, 18 into 8 equal to 144. So A equal to 13 now. So what is 13 square? 169. And what is 5 square? 25. So you are getting 144. That is well and good. Similarly, you can fix A as a negative value. So it is not uh, uh, mandatory that A is a positive value only. So you can fix a negative value also. So A equal to minus 13 and B equal to 5 now. So what is minus 13 square? Right. So minus 13 square. Uh, B, squ B square is 5 square. You get 25. So it's what? Third minus 13 square is also 169. So 169 minus 25, you get 144. That is also possible. Similarly, you can fix A equal to minus 13 and B equal to minus 5. So this will also work, right? Because uh, minus 13 square, you get 169. Minus, minus of 5 square also, you get plus 25. So what is that? 169 minus 25, you get same 144. This will also work. Similarly, you can fix A equal to plus 13 and B equal to uh, what? Minus 5. Now, if you take a equal to 13 and b equal to 5 for this one possibility, you have four options like this, right? So you have uh, four other possibilities like this. So it's very simple for these four factors, 18 into 8 and 24 into 6 and 36 into 4 and 72 into 2, you have four such sub factors, right? So it is not sub factors, four such sub possibilities are there. So we can say 4 into 4. Totally, you have 16 pairs of integers, which are possible for a square minus b square equal to 144. So what is the answer for this question? Option C, 16. Now it's very simple, right? So it is the way you are approaching the problem. 
so every week i will come up with some challenging questions or uh, the way like so that will make you to think you know even better so if you feel uh, some question is little difficult in aptitude so put it in comment section i will come up with a different solution in upcoming classes so stay connected with kredi training solutions all the very best for your competitive exams thank you so much for your patience